Hey everyone, so if you've watched my videos before, or you've been doing some uh, ML agents training on your own, you probably noticed that we use the CPU for training. And I've been asked in the past about how to do GPU training, and it, I hadn't remembered how to do it. And so I went and I was looking through it, <coughs> and I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to walk through how to do that. First thing I'm going to show, and it's kind of hard to show because right now, like we're not doing any training and my CUDA is being used on my GPU because I'm recording. So I will, after this, and then I'll throw it up over, I'll record with my phone when I don't have OBS open in order to show that CUDA is not being used. But currently when you're training, CUDA wouldn't be used. We'll go ahead and we'll run the command to show that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this to GPU example one. We'll run this training. <laughs> you can see right here, we have the CPU version of PyTorch. That's just the normal version we install. If you follow my video on installing everything, that's the version you'll get. If you hit play, and you can do this on your end too, if you don't want to look at, you know, probably terrible phone footage and ignore the spazzing. I'm still figuring out how to adjust things <laughs> in this. But uh, in here, you can see it's only about 7%. Normally, if I wasn't recording, it would be 0%. It's just OBS is using this. If you want to see this graph when you're in Task Manager, you go to your GPU. You can select any of these. But you just click on it and you go down to CUDA. Normally it's under copy and it shows zero. We go over to CUDA. I don't know if there's a way to break this down to show where it's being. Nope, that is not what I want. <laughs> it's because of recording. I'll throw up a video right now to show the difference. But anyways, we don't need that anymore. We can stop this. We'll stop the training. And then, and now we're going to want to change it over. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to a browser. I'll have links to this in the description. There's the Tuda CUDA toolkit. You may or may not need to install this. Don't install this yet. We'll find out. But if you go over to the PyTorch website, you can select your PyTorch build. I have 2.5, Windows, we're using PIP and Python. And right now I have CPU selected. So this is the command that we used in that video to set everything up. But if, you know, select your specific CUDA version, it'll depend on like the to CUDA toolkit you have installed, but this should also install it for you. If it doesn't, that's when you'd go to NVIDIA's website to install. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm not, I'm gonna copy this, but in here, I'm in the virtual environment. So make sure you're, you have a virtual environment set up. If you don't, it can make future projects really annoying. But you'll go in here and if you wanted to activate it, so let's, uh, let me see, I should have the command in here. I can deactivate. Deactivate. So now we're out of the virtual environment. So if you wanted to go in here, you would, if you have your virtual environment already made, walk, whatever you named it, mine's walk VNV. And then you go to scripts and you activate it. And then you should have it in parentheses over here, your virtual environment. If you do directory, you can see your virtual environment should be in the directory. Uh, once we have that, if assuming you have everything set up, you're going to do a pip uninstall and you're going to uninstall all the packages that you already have with PyTorch. So in here, I have pip3. You could just do pip uninstall torch torch vision torch audio and these i have these installed right now so we're going to go ahead and uninstall them if it'll let me insert the command there we go let it uninstall proceed it'll delete a bunch of torch things there we go it's done now what we can do is we can take this command i'm going to do a control v I guess I don't have it copied anymore. Go back, control V. We have pip3 install and it has a link to the website to install the CUDA version. Let's go ahead and install that. It is, there we go. <laughs> it's not taking my input. <laughs> but now it's going to go through and I'll cut back to when it's installed. While it finishes installing, I'm just going to mention here because I'm looking at my list of things to go over. 
uh, you do need an NVIDIA GPU or a GPU that support, supports CUDA. I'm combining supports and CUDA to supports. <laughs> uh, so like NVIDIA, you should be able to check on their website. But basically, when I looked, it was essentially like every NVIDIA GPU it looked like in like the last, I'm going to guess, like 10, 15 years. Like they had like the 960 on there that was supporting CUDA. Whether or not it actually does, I don't know because I don't have one. But they were saying it does anyways. Okay, so now we should have the CUDA version installed. We can verify that by doing nvcc dash dash version. And it'll tell you right here, CUDA compilation tools, release that version, build CUDA, uh, NVIDIA CUDA compiler. It's just checking to make sure that we have the CUDA toolkit. If it's not there, again, you can install it from their website. They'll have instructions and everything on how to do that. And then we can uh, verify that our GPU is found. If you do NVIDIA, if I spell NVIDIA right, dash SMI, I, it's not found. Am I spelling NVIDIA wrong? I am. N V I D I A. That's SMI. There we go. <laughs> and up here at the top, my 4070 is found, so it recognizes the GPU is there. So now we can go, and again, my CUDA cores, like I'm not training right now, and my CUDA cores are being used because of recording. So I'll show footage on my phone without recording on the computer of what it looks like when we're running with, but at the very least we can run the training and you can see that it loads up the CUDA version. So if we go back to that command, so I don't have to type it all out, and we're just going to call this 2, and we'll start running it. We should see popping up here any second, eventually. Uh, it's wanting to go very slow for whatever reason. Let me stop it. I think it. There we go. It hung up for some reason. That doesn't usually happen. Maybe it's because I'm recording. There we go. And we can see it has the CUDA version. So now we have the CUDA version installed, and it'll use the CUDA cores. If you have a big enough training, you know, set up, it'll utilize your GPU for training. Well, you'll notice a difference, I should say. It'll utilize it regardless. But uh, I haven't noticed much on my end when it has. I don't know why it's just sitting here. There we go. Run this. Bring this over. It's sitting around 2%, 2 to 17%. And I only have one training environment going, so it's not that intensive. I'll bring up a video right now to show the difference you guys will then see when I'm not recording what it looks like. But yeah, that should be it for setting it up. Hope this guy this hope helped you guys out. See ya.